All right, welcome everybody. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Rainbow Six Siege tier list. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's obvious to tell. I'm going to be ranking the first this many <laughs> operators. Um, I actually don't know exactly up to what operation this is updated, but I mean, I haven't played uh, the new operation. I haven't played Shifting Tides. I haven't even really used any of the new operators, like warden i have knock i haven't used her though like that gridlock mozzie this year four i believe is like the year of i didn't play a single fucking operator that came out so from what i can tell this is updated to where i actually know what i'm talking about so what i'm going to be judging these operators on is uh their utility based on their gadget their weapons and uh also i'm going to take into account at least a little bit of how the uh the community feels about them not just that but also like how they're played because there's a lot of people that play these operators like absolute assholes so i'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking that into consideration and uh let's start with alibi now alibi you would think that with how long she's been out people would have a better defense for her because it's super easy to understand that somebody that's you know aiming out of this door may or may not actually be a real person but no matter what people are so are always so on guard that they shoot at her so you find that a lot of people end up getting tricked by your uh your prismas so couple her uh her continued usefulness her longevity as an operator and her smg is really good and so is her shotgun and she's got impact grenades there's just really nothing to not like about her so i stick her in the s rank because I use her a lot, actually, so don't get on me. Um, Ash, I don't know that she's really necessary as far as like her gadget was cool when she was the when she was one of the only operators in the game. But over time, I mean, there's other people that can breach. Anybody that has breach charges can do it, and they can do it more than twice. So it's like there's no real need to use her anymore. But the R4C is still a really good weapon and it's still hard to headshot her so i'm gonna stick her in b because honestly fighting her is one of the most frustrating things bandit great gadget i mean you can you can block uh thermites you can block habanas that's pretty much it i mean hard breaches are always going to be an issue so having something that can counter them directly is good you can also shock uh barbed wire so if you're playing like bomb or hostage and it gets down to crunch time and somebody makes a mad dash for the objective and then they get shocked to death or something like that because they're already low. There's a lot of ways that you can play him very well. The MP7 is a god gun. I'm sorry to say it that way, but I mean, there's very few weapons in the game that are better than the MP7, so he goes in the S rank. Blackbeard? I feel like I don't really need to talk about him. We all know the SR-25 and the SCAR are mid-tier weapons right at least as far as this game goes the, his saran wrap shield does nothing he's so slow there's just why would anybody use him there's just no he can't even reload automatically with his shield equipped you have to manually reload and that's really stupid blitz he's good but a lot of people get themselves killed playing him recklessly now does his nature as an operator lead him to be played recklessly sure but it's still down to having big brain and knowing not to just run in there stupidly because you can maybe blind a couple people. But if you're going to run up on somebody, you can still, you know, get meleeed to death or get shot from behind or whatever. It's just like, it's risky. So I'm going to stick him in the B. Buck, he doesn't get played that much. The Camerus is a good weapon, but the C8, safe for work. The recoil pattern is way too ridiculous. Um, again, the skeleton key... Breaching is great, but a lot of people can breach. It's just like, and his gadget doesn't even get you bonus points for using it unless you kill somebody with it. And I never think, oh, I'm going to skeleton key this person unless I already have the skeleton key activated. I'm never going to just be like, okay, I need to shotgun this person to death. Apart from that, he's a really mid-tier operator. He, I mean, his, his existence doesn't really have that much impact on me as a player of, of the game, so I just can see. Capital was worthless in every possible way. 
Castle, uh, I don't know. I mean, you get a lot of people that play Castle that are really stupid, and they just lock you in the objective room, and it's, it's easy to say, like, oh, we'll just tear the things down and leave. But the thing is, you still... If you're doing your job as a defender, and you're using the prep phase to get ready, a lot of times while you're wasting time trying to figure out what your route is going to be, or where you're going to go, what you're going to do, and you have to tear down a castle door, you can end up getting shot before you get to the position that you want to be in. A smart castle. Another thing that I hate about castle players, right, is if I'm playing Capcan and I put my trap on this window or on this door, why would Castle come and put his armor panel there? Because if somebody blows up the armor panel, they blow up my trap. So now I can't get, you know, I can't do damage to that person with my trap anymore. And I can't kill them if they already have low health. Like, they're just going to get through and there's no, I can't deny their entry now. But uh, a good Castle would put his armor panels at entry points to the area, not just the room itself. But, you know, I mean... <laughs> I have to put him in D because he's just overall really not that good. The UMP the UMP forty five isn't a very good weapon, and neither is uh, the FBI shotgun. Cav needs to be nerfed. I don't care what anybody says. Her pistol being a suppressed pistol doing ninety nine damage, which is more damage. Well, I don't know if it still does ninety nine damage, but it, I know that it does more damage than Glass's sniper rifle, and to me that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I guess she's okay. She gets a lot of ranked play. Um, she, you know, she's quick. She's got a really good ability. Uh, the silent step comes in handy a lot, especially if you're playing with a bunch of people that won't shut the fuck up and let you play. Uh, you get to be A. You're the first A. Clash is worthless in every possible way. <laughs> doc. Uh, the doc glitch is something that I miss a lot. But, uh, I mean, if you get a doc that knows what they're doing and they actually play support, you can actually get a really good playmaker out of your doc. Um, the MP5 is really good. The uh, the P90 is really good. Of course it is. Uh, the shotgun's good. Um, the Magnum is good. The pistol's good. Like, there's really nothing... Like, doc is such a well-rounded, good operator. Not even just for starters and newcomers to the game, but, like, veterans of the game could stand to learn a lot from playing doc. So it's like... I actually feel like he's S tier. You can fight me on that if you want, but I think Doc is an S tier defender. Dokebi. Uh, her rifle is really good. The shotgun, the boss G is really iffy for me. I don't really have any strong feelings toward it one way or the other. Um, but her rifle is really good. Her gadget's really useful. Uh, it's very good for crunch time pushing. Uh, if you can get somebody, then uh, and you know you get their cameras. The only thing is if if you Somebody, like, if a defender kills another defender, and they see a phone, then they know that there's a Dokebi on the team. So you lose that, like, element of surprise, so, like, they're expecting to get the logic bomb calls, but still, overall, expecting it doesn't mean that they're going to be able to do anything about it, unless they have a mute, because a mute jammer can disrupt the logic bomb, but still, it's a really effective way to find out where they are, because if they're not on a mute jammer... They're still gonna get the call. So honestly, A rank. Um, Echo giving him a second drone is was not as helpful as I thought it would be. Uh, it actually just makes playing him a little bit more complicated because I can't like think <laughs> enough to switch between my drones or whatever. Trying to keep two drones alive is just really stressful, and it's not exactly something that I needed. I don't exactly love the cooldown on them either. Uh, he started out as an S rank, I feel like, but I, I think the changes to him have put him down to B. Uh, his MP5 is really good, but, I don't know, he just doesn't get it done for me anymore. The Supernova is a good shotgun, and the Bearing 9 is a good, um, secondary. Ella, ah, oh, Ella used to be S rank. Oh, <laughs> she used to be S rank, but then they took away 10 of her bullets and one of her ice cream cones. And I still feel like the, the Scorpion is, is one of the best guns in the game, uh, the Fo-12 is one of the best guns in the game. She's got two of the best weapons in the entire game, and she also had the first RDS, uh, pistol in the whole game. Like, she kind of made history. Um, I think she was one of the first examples of a DLC operator getting the entire game to be like, or the, not the entire game, the entire community to be like, okay, we need to do something about this because she's not fair. 
I still think she's A-rank, though. I don't think she got uh, changed so heavily that she's been knocked down two pegs. But A, I think, is definitely fair for her. Finca. I actually don't have Finca, and I've never played her before. But, I mean, I, c I can't deny her utility. She's she's still very useful. Uh, you know, she can pick up her downed allies. She can, you know, eliminate recoil. Gives you health. I mean, there's just... She's so good as a support. And her weapons, from what I can tell, are pretty good, too. So why why not her a B, a B? Frost. Frost comes through clutch sometimes. Like, if you're playing... Uh, and you're not paying attention, you'll get hit with a frost trap if you're not super careful about it. If you're going for the hostage, you might hit a frost trap. If you're just going in through a random window, you might hit a frost trap. Uh, she she comes through clutch a lot. Uh, she she can get the job done. She can be the playmaker. Uh, a lot more times than you think. Only thing is her weapons just aren't that great. The Super 90 is a good shotgun, but her uh, her nine mil is just not super good. The only reason that she gets to be an S is like I said. Those welcome mats can really turn the tide of the, of the game. Fuse. I don't even think I need to explain why he's an S. Glaz. I don't think I need to explain why he's a D. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still getting over cold. Habana. Um, I mean, she's, she's less and more useful than Thermite. Thermite makes a really big hole in the, in the wall. Habana makes, like, a smaller ranged peak hole, which you can make the hole smaller if you want. Like, you can shoot the, the uh, x Kairos onto the thing and then break some of the pellets so that you can control the size of the hole, which I actually think is pretty cool. Um, you can make your, your peak hole as obnoxious or as not obnoxious as you see fit, and that's really, that's really good. But still, the Type 89, while it is a higher-level uh, rifle, doesn't have the capacity to compete with a lot of these other uh, operators. If you get into a firefight with your average defender, they're going to outlast you. That's just how it is. So you kind of have to play her from a distance if you want to make the most use out of her. And uh, that being said, that immediately eliminates the use of the supernova. So really, the best thing to do is to fall back on the bearing 9, which is kind of rough, but I, I still think overall she gets to be an A. IQ. God, why did they nerf you? Why did they think that she was too powerful with frag grenades? She's not useful with a claymore. I had just bought her elite skin before they did this to her. Um, but still, I think her gadget's pretty good. I think they nerfed the range on it, though. Um, she doesn't really have that many counters. Uh, and that that's, that's good. Her weapons aren't super high tier. But I think overall, she's still got a lot of utility. So she gets to be a B. Aww. Jackal! I don't think they've done anything to you since you came out. The C7E is still a really good weapon. The PDW is a good weapon. The shotgun's a good weapon. He's got a really OP uh, gadget because while the amount of scans you can do are limited, there's no limit to how long you can have the visor activated. You can use the Inox for as long as you want, and there's, there's no cap. So you can still see footprints all the live long day. If you're good enough, you can track them yourself. You don't have to scan them. So that kind of makes him an S, at least in my mind. Jaeger, holy shit. I, with the 416 carbine and the sausage shotgun and the the uh, the ADS, I just, um, there's, I mean, come on. That active defense system is one of the best gadgets in the game. Kaid. Uh, let's see. I just don't play him a lot. I don't see him played a lot. I don't think he's very useful. He's just a poor man's bandit. Yeah, I get he can shock hatches. But if you're in a room that doesn't have a hatch, you don't really need to do that. And bandit can shock hatches. I mean, it's going to be easier to take out the battery than the, uh, than the electro claw that's on the other side of it. But still, he can do it. Capcan. S. I don't care if they nerf him. <laughs> I, I still think the entry denial device should be a one-hit kill like it used to be. Because if it only does 60 damage, it's not really denying someone's entry unless they have 40 health or below. But, I mean, it's, it still comes through clutch. A lot of times, 
people get desperate, they push it up too fast, and they get blown the fuck up. That's just how that goes. I mean, I've gotten somebody with two of them because they got so desperate, they pushed up into both of my traps and died. So, Legion, I, I don't know. He's okay. I just don't think that his weapons are very good, and his gadget, the recharge rate on it is just so whack. I mean, again, it can come through clutch when people aren't paying attention, or when people don't really decide to take the time to stop and remove the goon needle because they're in a firefight or whatever, but still, I don't know. Lion has been nerfed into oblivion. Maestro, good god, that LMG. I, I don't even need his gadget. Just give me the LMG, give me a corner, I'm going to win the game for my team. Maverick, they really need to put some sound on his, uh, on his blowtorch because the fact that he can just cut through steel reinforcements and you can't hear him is absolutely absurd. Like, he always has the advantage. And, you know, when you're playing him, that's great. But when you're fighting him, it's just really not... I, I don't like it. I don't like it. A lot of people play Maverick the same way, too. They just go pfft, right into a, a hole, or right into a wall, and then they snipe through it, basically. Because the AR-15-50 is really popular. It's more popular than the M4. Mira. They changed her voice actor, <clears throat> but I still think Mira is a, is a pretty decent playmaker. Uh, you know, last second... Pop a mirror, brrr, get two or three people before they realize what's really going on because the sound that the mirror, that the black mirror makes when it's ejected isn't really noticeable unless you're listening for it. Montagna, I mean, come on. Montagna, it, what, what do you expect? The only way to take this guy out is to smoke him. And a lot of people don't really play smoke that much anymore. So, a lot of times, this guy can win you a game. Mute. Very useful. He's a counter for just about everything. Only thing is his weapons aren't that great. Uh, what does he have? The MP5K? And the, uh, the, the shotgun? <laughs> I'm trying to remember what shotgun everybody has. But, I mean, eh, his, his weapons are just very mid-tier. But his gad is great. The only thing that keeps him from being an S is his weapons. Nomad, you get to be another A. <clears throat> the AK-74 is just so good. How can anybody not like the way that the AK-74 controls? And the air jab is a really useful gadget. It's like, it's absolutely absurd how, how useful it is. Um, it's really good for clutching, not, not necessarily clutching, but it's really good for, like, playmaking, I suppose. Pulse... Same problem as Castle. Really whack weapons and a gadget that's not overly useful. Especially because it's toggle now instead of hold. Um, Blue Ranger, Green Ranger, Orange Ranger, Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger. <laughs> Alright, moving on to actual operators. Rook. Really good starter operator. I mean, you don't really have to do much. You just hit the button once, and then your, your responsibility is done. But, really good weapons. Same weapons as this guy. So, obviously, he's going to have some really strong weapons. The thing that keeps him from being below Doc is that his gadget is so meh. You know? Sledge. I mean, Sledge is good fodder. You can watch a lot of people get themselves fucked up if they're not paying attention using him. But, uh... I mean, there's nothing really wrong with him, I guess. I just don't play him. Smoke, same thing. Nothing wrong with him. I don't play him, though. Uh, Tachanka, uh, when, when you look past the meme, he's worthless. <laughs> Thatcher, I mean, when you combine him with a Thermite, you got yourself a pretty solid uh, dynamic duo there. Um, I mean, the man deactivates your reticle. Like, that's really... It's really rough for somebody like me that's very reliant on that. I mean, you can still function without it, just aim in the middle, but it's like, st I, it throws me off to not have that. Thermite, that's rank. I'm sorry. Really good weapons, really effective gadget. What else do you want? Really big fucking hole coming right up. Twitch, I, I don't think she's ever been more than a C. Her weapons aren't that good. They... They gave her a second drone, this is correct, but they also nerfed it. You used to be able to kill somebody with a drone. 
which I guess would have made her an A at that point, but, I mean, she's just a C now, there's really nothing you can do about that. Valkyrie, her utility has been reduced by the fact that people have bulletproof cameras now, but the, the, the black eye can still go a lot farther to a lot more places and is a lot more uh, useful because, I mean, you can change its view. You can't do that on the bulletproof cameras, it's just looking forward and that's it. Uh, on some maps, there used to be ways you could glitch with Valkyrie to see things that you weren't supposed to be able to see, and you could see the entire map at once, which was actually pretty cool. But now, I still think she's an A, because the MPX and the Spaz-12 are really strong weapons. Vigil? For being invisible is the most detectable defender in the whole game. It's... he might as well have a banner that says, hey, there's a Vigil. I mean, he's got okay weapons, but his gadget is so oxymoronic that it's, it's, it's just hard to take him seriously. Ying, I don't know. I mean, open bolt weapons are cool, but it's like, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't see her really being that effective when anybody else on the team has flashbangs. They last longer than, than, uh, than the Candela anyway. The only thing is that it shoots multiple of them, but still, it only lasts like two seconds. Whereas a flashbang lasts like five or six. And last but not least, Zosha. Uh, I don't think she needs to be an S, but she's one of my favorite defend uh, operators in the game, so I kind of want her to be one. I mean, she's got a really good rifle, right? I'm, I'm not, I'm not making that up. And her gadget, while it's not the most useful thing in the entire game, has been able to kill people. I've killed a couple people using uh, her gadget. So I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the name. I want to call it the silencer, the suppressor. What's it called? I actually, I actually can't remember what her gadget's called. But um, yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna make her an S because that's my opinion. Opinions are what we do here. So um, let me know if you think that I placed any of these operators in the wrong tier, and uh, tell me where you would place them. I actually would actually, I actually actually would actually like to know that actually. And uh, 